Hi guys, welcome back to another Landmarks and Legends. Um, now, it's been a while since we did one of these and this came about on one of our um, Facebook Live sessions where I was chatting with some of the guys about where they'd been um, before lockdown and um, the lovely Dee from Hull said that one of the places she'd visited was Mother Shipton's Cave and I thought, ha, huh, Landmarks and Legends video right there. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about. So here we go. Mother Shipton. Um, Mother Shipton is England's probably her most famous prophetess, which basically means that she claimed she could see the future and predict, predict things that were going to happen. Um, so events before they actually happened. Now, she was born Ursula Sontil in 1488 and she was born during the reign of Henry the Seventh, so long, long, hundreds of years ago. Now, the legend says that she was born in a violent storm in a cave on the banks of the River Nid in Knaresborough. Okay, and that cave you can still go and visit today. Um, she grew up in and around Knaresborough and she was tormented by the townsfolk because of her looks. Um, apparently she had a big nose and her legs were a bit crooked and things like that and people were very cruel um, and they teased her and tormented her because of her appearance so poor Ursula spent most of her time alone in a cave where she studied plants and flowers and she learned to make medicines with them which of course was very useful back in those days because there wasn't really doctors or anything like that so Ursula became known as a wise woman and the townspeople would go to her for cures and she would cure all their ailments with her herbal medicines. Um, and of course, because she could cure ailments, the legend grew up around her that she was probably also a witch. Mm. Now, um, Ursula met a man called Tobias Shipton when she was 24. They got married but unfortunately, Tobias died before she could have any children. And Ursula, of course, kept his name and became Ursula Shipton. And then because she was a wise woman and as she grew older, um, to the people of Knaresborough, she became known as Mother Shipton. And that, of course, is the name that her legend goes by. Um, so, as well as selling her medicines, she started to predict the future for people. And they would come to her and say, you know, what's going to happen? Should I do this or should I do that? And she'd say to them, mm, do that. Um, and some of her prophecies are still around today. And she did a, she, you know, she made an awful lot of prophecies that have been recorded. And some of them you could say actually have come to pass. Mm. So one of her prophecies sounds a bit weird. Now, let me read it to you. She said, Water shall come over Ooze Bridge, and a windmill shall be set upon a tower, and an elm tree shall lie at every man's door. Well, that made no sense whatsoever to the people of the town at that time, but um, it meant absolutely nothing to them. But Ooze Bridge, of course, is over the River Ooze, which runs through York, and it, um, the ta it began to make sense when the city of York got a piped water system because the system which brought water over Ooze Bridge ran in pipes and it was powered by a windmill and the pipes which brought the water over the top of Ooze Bridge, and bridge not underneath it, um, were made of elm. And of course those pipes were sent to every man's door. Um, so there we go. There was the elm leading to every man's door as the water was piped into the houses. And um, and there was the water running over the top of Ooze Bridge rather than underneath it. And there was the windmill built on a tower which powered the pumps which pushed the water through. So one prophecy that came true. Now, um, another prophecy um, would include things that were nearer to our world. So she, one of them was, a carriage without a horse shall go. So what do you think that might be? A carriage without a horse. Back in um, Mother Shipton's day, all modes of transport would have been provided by horses. There'd have been nothing else, really. Um, think about today's transport. 
we've got a carriage without a horse and it's going think of the cars the lorries the buses there you go um she also said in water iron shall float as easily as a wooden boat now in her day iron would never have floated there'd have been no chance absolutely no chance because um it was so heavy and it would have just sunk straight away but obviously with um technology came iron boats and floated across the water think about all our battleships things like that today our big cruise ships all made of metal all made of iron floating along on the sea another one came true didn't it um and another one that comes even more up today around the world thoughts shall fly in the twinkling of an eye now in her day the only way of sending communication around the world would have been by letter and that would have had to have gone on a wooden ship and it would have taken months and months and months to get to another country probably wouldn't have got there at all originally they thought that was the telegram because people could send a telegram and they would go but now even more up to date how fast can thoughts go around the world in the twinkling of an eye with the internet mm, got it right again so that's mother shipton and that's her prophecies there are loads and loads of information on the internet about mother shipton and her prophecies have a look because that's just a few i've just touched the tip of the iceberg so that's mother shipton the legend but in nairsborough very close to mother shipton's cave we also have a landmark now there is a petrifying well sounds a bit scary it isn't really um it's a spring and it runs over the top of a rock and it drips that water down and that water is so full of minerals that anything it touches eventually turns to stone and of course it's become a bit of a landmark and the people have strung things up to watch them turn to stone now there's loads of things hanging on the petrifying well there is um, lots of teddy bears because apparently they turn to stone really quickly they can go um, as quickly as uh, three to five months a teddy because it's porous and the water goes into it so it turns to stone from the inside out um, there's an old bicycle there are kitchen implements there's a kettle there's oh there's all sorts of things hanging up there um, and it, they form by forming a, a hard stone almost coating mineral coating on the outside of the object a bit like stalagmites and stalactites grow in a cave but they take hundreds of years to form and the minerals in the petrifying well at Nairsborough are so um, powerful that they can change within months. OK, so again, that's something that you can go and you can have a look at and you can see. So there we go. Um, Mother Shipton's Cave and the petrifying well at Nairsborough in North Yorkshire. Very beautiful part of the world. Very, very pretty scenery set right next to the River Nid. Um, in a lovely forestry setting, um, really easy to ex access and when things are back to normal, I would say well worth a visit, definitely. Okay, so there you go. If you've got anything to add, drop a comment on the video, send the video of yourself talking about Mother Shipton or the uh, Petrifying Well into Ruth because we'd absolutely love to have them. Now, I'll be back with some more landmarks and legends very soon. But in the meantime, everybody stay home, stay safe and always stay creative. Bye for now.